playing Doom, Penguin style. Hey everyone, what's happening today? I figured we'd have a little fun and start playing Doom on Linux. Now Doom, the original Doom actually, is not something that you have to Frankenstein to get it to get to play. There are actually native engines that are pre-configured to run on Linux. So we're going to go ahead and use that. And for there are actually quite a few of them. And for my example, we're going to use Chocolate Doom. I would use Crispy Doom, but that's not in my repositories. I don't feel like uh, building it from source as I'm feeling like lazy today. So... Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just install Chocolate Doom because it's in the Linux Mint repository. So we're going to go ahead and grab that and uh, start playing Doom. Now the thing about playing Doom on Linux, you have to own a pop copy of the game. Or you can also use this shareware version as well. And uh, I will include this link in the description where to get the shareware WAD files for the data that you need to run it from the native engine. Now you can go and get the Doom files as well somewhere I'm pretty sure but I can't tell you where to download that because I will get in trouble with YouTube. Now a lot of people would try to say that uh, Doom engines are legal or illegal actually but actually the, the Doom engine was actually open source back in the 90s so Here's actually the source, and you can just build the original engine for Linux right here from the GitHub. I'll also link this into the description, but I would highly suggest that you just grab one of the other engines because they're updated for modern systems. So we're going to go ahead and grab Chocolate Doom from the repository, so I'm going to go here to Administration Software Manager. Okay, now we're on the software ma manager. I'm going to go ahead and search Doom. We're going to go ahead and grab Chocolate Doom and hit install. Now I'm doing this on Linux Mint. You can do this on virtually any Ubuntu-based distribution, and most repositories actually have Chocolate Doom in them. So, yes, I want to install that additional password package and enter in my password, my super secret password. That's really, really hard to figure out, actually. So now that we've got that installed, we're going to go ahead and grab the WAD files, which are the data files, from the little folder I've created. And we're just going to go ahead and grab doom1.wad. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a directory right here in my home folder. Uh, new folder. And I'm just going to label it doom, and it's right here. I'm just going to go ahead and cop, drag this in here. Now, uh, the reason uh, now the reason why I put it right there in a Doom folder is because when I go in here and start it up, for Chocolate Doom right here, it's going to ask me where the WAD file is. So we're going to go ahead and just launch it into a terminal, and we're going to go ahead and run. Uh, Chocolate Doom Dash I one and then we're gonna go ahead and do slash home slash my user account plus doom and then there we go and that should start it up. Oh whoops chocolate dash doom and that should start it right up All right, and okay. 
I had to remember the button combinations. And Man, it's been a long time since I played Doom. Let's see if I can go and kill these. Missed him. Gotta love 2.5 shooters because I don't have to aim vertically. It's still... That's the first level. So that was Chocolate Doom for Linux. Uh, it's a great way to play Doom. It's also compatible with a lot of other games. I believe Descent is one of them. Uh, there are quite a few that use the same engine as Doom. So uh, go ahead and play around with it. Um, also, uh, Crispy Doom is also my favorite, but I was like lazy. So I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Build it from source, but oh well. Um, I will also link Crispy Doom down in the description, and if you like this video, go ahead and give it that thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Have a good day. If you like my content and wish to support my work, you can do so on Patreon. The link is in the description. Also, if you wish to see more, check out the videos on your screen.